Submarines, the silent predators of the deep, play a pivotal role in modern warfare. They are the unseen guardians of a nation's maritime boundaries. Gliding beneath the waves, these stealthy giants are the embodiment of power, precision, and technological prowess. They carry the responsibility of protecting the nation's interests at sea, operating under the radar, quite literally, to maintain the balance of power in the world's oceans. The strategic value of these underwater leviathans is immense. Their ability to strike from the unseen depths, their endurance and their versatility make them a crucial asset in any Navy's arsenal. They are the game changers, the wild cards, the unseen trump cards in the high stakes game of naval warfare. Today we will compare two formidable members of this silent class. The Scorpion class submarine from India and the Jangbogo class submarine. Both of these modern marvels bring their own strengths to the table, as we shall see in the coming comparison. First up, we have the Scorpini-class submarine from India. This impressive naval vessel is a powerhouse beneath the waves. With a displacement of 1,725 tons when surfaced and 2,000 tons when submerged, it's a force to be reckoned with. The Scorpini-class stretches to a length of 67.5 meters, with a beam of 6.2 meters, and a draft of 5.8 meters. It's quite the hulk, but don't let its size fool you. This submarine is swift, capable of reaching speeds of 20 knots when surfaced and 15 knots when submerged. When it comes to endurance, the Scorpion class doesn't disappoint either. It boasts a remarkable range of 6,500 nautical miles at a cruising speed of 9 knots. And if you're wondering how deep it can dive, well, it can plunge to a depth of 300 meters out of sight and out of mind from any surface threats. Now, let's talk about the crew. There are 31 brave souls manning this maritime predator, each adept at their role, ensuring the smooth and efficient operation of the submarine. The Scorpion class is not just about size and speed, it's also about firepower. Armed with six 533 millimeter torpedo tubes, it can carry 18 torpedoes or SM-39 Exocet anti-ship missiles. But what truly sets the Scorpion class apart is its air-independent propulsion system, the MESMA AIP. This cutting-edge system allows the submarine to stay submerged for longer durations without surfacing, providing a crucial advantage in stealth and endurance. And finally, the Scorpion class is equipped with advanced sensors like the Thales TSM-2233 Eladone sonar, the Thales TSM-2253 King Clip sonar, and a radar system. These sensors provide the submarine with exceptional situational awareness, enabling it to detect and track targets with remarkable accuracy. The Scorpion class submarine, a true maritime predator, equipped with advanced technology and deadly firepower. Now let's turn our attention to the Jangbogo class submarine. Emerging from South Korea's naval arsenal, the Jangbogo class submarine is a formidable player in the world of underwater warfare. With its displacement of 1,200 tons when surfaced and 1,800 tons when submerged, it's a lean but potent machine. The Jangbogo class measures at a sleek 56 meters in length with a beam and draft of 6.2 and 5.5 meters respectively. Its compact size doesn't compromise its speed though, as it can reach a brisk 12 knots surfaced and an impressive 20 knots submerged. But where the Jangbogo class truly shines is in its endurance. It boasts a range of 10,000 nautical miles at a steady 10 knots. That's a journey from South Korea all the way to South Africa without refueling. Not one to shy away from the ocean's depths. This submarine can dive up to 250 meters. That's deeper than the height of the Statue of Liberty. It's not just about the numbers, though. The Yangbogo class can house a crew of 40, all working in sync to operate this seafaring titan. As for armament, it comes equipped with eight 533mm torpedo tubes and can carry up to 14 torpedoes or harpoon anti-ship missiles. Unlike its Scorpion counterpart, the Yangbogo class doesn't feature an air-independent propulsion system, instead relying on traditional diesel-electric propulsion but don't let that fool you into thinking it's any less capable. Rounding off its impressive specs, the Jangbogo class is fitted with a German-made CSU-83 sonar and a radar system, 
ensuring it has the eyes and ears it needs in the silent world beneath the waves. The Jiangbogo-class submarine, a formidable force in the depths known for its endurance and powerful armament. Now we reach the climax of our deep-sea duel, the comparison between the Scorpion and the Jiangbogo. Let's start with displacement. The Scorpion is the heavyweight in this face-off, tipping the scales at 2,000 tons when submerged, significantly more than the Jiangbogo's 1,800 tons. This extra weight grants the Scorpene a greater level of stability and resilience, but could also make it a larger target. Speed next. On the surface, the Scorpion dashes ahead at 20 knots, leaving the Jiangbogo trailing at a mere 12 knots. Submerged, the rolls reverse, with the Jiangbogo surging ahead at 20 knots, while the Scorpion falls behind at 15 knots. The Jiangbogo, however, pulls ahead in the range category, covering 10,000 nautical miles at 10 knots, compared to the Scorpion's 6,500 nautical miles at 9 knots. When it comes to diving depth, the Scorpion plunges deeper, reaching 300 meters, while the Jiangbogo caps at 250 meters. The Scorpion also boasts an air-independent propulsion AIP system, a feature the Jiangbogo lacks. This allows the Scorpion to remain submerged longer, reducing its vulnerability to detection. In terms of armament, both submarines are armed to the teeth. But the Scorpion has the upper hand with its ability to carry more torpedoes or missiles. As for sensors, both submarines come equipped with cutting-edge sensor suites. However, the Scorpion's Thales sonar systems are considered more advanced than the German-made sonar of the Jiangbogo, giving it a slight edge in the detection game. In the silent world of underwater warfare, both the Scorpion and the Jiangbogo hold their own each with unique strengths that make them formidable adversaries. But remember, it is not just about the machine but the men and women who operate it that makes the real difference.